Already the war in the air has brought its stories of bravery. The pilot of one German bomber brought down in France almost succeeded in fooling the RAF. But they got him in the end, and a very nice aerial camera that was underneath his plane. The bomber was being attacked by British fighters. The bullets were hitting him so thick and fast that all the crew of the German machine except the pilot bailed out with their parachutes. As the German bomber dived furiously to escape the inferno, the pilot slumped over his controls as if a bullet had hit him. So one of the RAF machines came alongside to see what had happened. Just then the German pilot came back to life and sent a burst of machine gun fire into the British plane that caused it to make a forced landing. But that was all the German could do. He succeeded in pancaking his machine into a field, was unhurt and taken prisoner. And that night the RAF gave a dinner in his honour. And when he found out we weren't so nasty as his propaganda friends had told him, he burst into tears. Meanwhile on land in a small town somewhere in France, Poland's Prime Minister General Sikorsky arrives to take over his headquarters. From now on this will be the seat of government of the new Poland. You cannot crush the spirit of a nation, and here today Poland is reborn. The first act of the new government is to ask a blessing on their fight for freedom. And at sea the pride of the French Navy is the torpedo boat Sirocco. In the space of three days she has sunk two German U-boats. <laughs> 